comfortable position. So you could be cross-legged or kneeling, anything that works for you this morning. Um, and it's quite dark. You can see the, the sun hasn't even risen yet. <laughs> so just take a, a moment here to arrive. Straight away, just drop in to the sound of your breath. Deepen the breath. As we breathe in, sitting up nice and tall. And as we breathe out, back and through the shoulders. A few more cycles of breath here. Feel free to invite any movement in. It may be that you start to just gently sway from side to side. Feeling that movement into the waist, into both sides of the body. Keeping that breath flowing nice and deeply. And then just start to invite a bit more of a swaying from side to side here. So the hips are trying to stay a little bit rooted, okay, so trying to keep the opposite hip on the ground as you sway from one side to the other. You can invite the neck in for the movement. Just waking up nice and gently through the body this morning. And then slowly coming back through centre. And then coming over towards the right side, just gently bring the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you, open up to the right. Just a gentle twist. And then coming back through centre to the other side. And then coming back through centre. From here, inhale, open up through the arms. Exhale, palms reach out in front of you, chin to chest, rounding through the spine. And again, inhale, open. So think cat and cow here. Really enjoying this move in my own practice this week and I've been bringing it into the classes. So just moving with the breath, you can lean back here as you exhale, inhale to open. A couple more. And then releasing the hands. From here, just start to get a little bit of a spiral going here forward and back. So leaning as far forward as you can, lighting those shoulders in, and then reverse, take it the other way. And then spiraling back to the centre. From here, we're going to come over onto hands and knees. And straight away, just walking those hands forward, keeping the hips stacked over the knees, and just shifting the heart down towards the earth. You may need to walk those hands a little bit further away. Maybe the forehead gently kisses the ground. Keeping those arms lifted. Take three deep cleansing breaths here. Each exhale, maybe the chest sinks a little bit closer towards the floor. Inhaling, coming up. Walk the hands back just slightly. And then as we come forward, just lower the hips down. Elbows come behind you, come all the way down to the floor. 
Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, rolling back down. Two more. Moving with your breath. On the next one, you inhale. Inhale, then roll up onto the knees. Curl the toes under, lifting those hips, coming into our downward dog. Take a moment here. So either pedal those feet first, or we'll come to stillness, or the other way around, come to stillness, and then pedal the feet. So just waking up through the body, noticing how you feel, how the legs feel. Taking that morning stretch. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bending the knees and then slowly walking the hands back towards the feet, coming into our rag doll pose at the back of our mat. So staying in this forward fold, holding on to the opposite elbow. Knees are nicely bent, and just gently hang here or sway from side to side. Allow the crown of the head to reach towards the floor. And exhale, release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Take the hands all the way up to the thighs, bend the knees, gazing forward towards the front of your mat, navel draws in. Exhale, folding back down. Inhale, root to rise, reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Drop the left hand down by your side, reach the right hand up, just gently reaching over towards the left, bumping the hips to the right. Inhale, coming back up, switch, left hand reaches, right hand down by the side, reaching over, bumping the hips to the left. Coming back up, reaching both hands, inhale. Exhale, folding forwards. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, half lift. Maybe up towards the thighs still. Exhale, folding back down. From here, bend the knees, walking the hands back out to our downward dog. And just taking a breath here. One more breath. From here, anchor down through that left foot. Inhale, lift the left, um, sorry, anchor down through the right foot. Inhale, lift the left leg. You don't have to lift it up high, they just come off the ground and then bend into the knees, look forward and step that left foot up in between the hands. If you need to lower the right knee to get there, do. Then arrive here. In our runner's lunge, take a moment and then release the right knee down to the floor. Come on to the top of that right foot. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms, open up through the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to touch. And then gently twisting over towards the left side. So the right elbow comes down to this left knee. And maybe you keep the gaze looking down towards the floor. Maybe you can come into this twist a bit more, pushing the hands together, gently looking out to the side. Twisting into our tummies. Okay, so starting up, igniting that digestive system this morning. One more breath. come back and hold on to this left foot. Maybe not, maybe you're just reaching back here. 
Take a moment, you can come up onto the fingertips, you can really open up through the chest, you can drop this left knee out if you want to. And then release, left hand comes down, lifting that back leg, step the left foot back, then moving through a vinyasa, coming forward, either lowering the knees, lower all the way down to the ground, or chaturanga into up dog, your choice. Making our way back into downward dog. Take a breath here. Shake the head off, yes or no. And then anchor down through that left foot, inhale, lift the right. Bending the knees, step the right foot forward. And just stay with that back knee lifted just for a moment. Open up through the chest. And then lowering that left knee down onto the top of that left foot. Inhale, open up. Anchor down through that left foot as we inhale again, reaching the arms up. Inhale, reach a little bit taller. Exhale, cactus those arms, maybe looking up. Inhale again, bringing the hands to touch. And then twisting over towards the right side, anchoring that left arm in. Maybe looking out towards the left, uh, towards the right, sorry. Full breath. The right hand comes back towards the foot. You can come here, you can release. Maybe you open up, pulling this heel in towards your bottom. Or you could just stay with that right hand reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, release, bringing the hands back down. And then stepping the right foot back, down dog. And then moving through your vinyasa. Meeting back in our downward dog. Take a breath. Anchor down through that right foot. Inhale, lift the left leg up behind you. Bend into that left knee and just open it up briefly, just opening up through the left hip here and then bring it back through center we're going to step that left foot up in between the hands again if you need to lower that right knee to get there from here you can do what we did before so you can always lower this right knee down or maybe inhale coming up high lunge exhale arrive here inhale reach with the arms Exhale, cactus the arms, open up through the chest. Inhale, reach, palms come to touch. Exhale, twisting over towards the left. So if you arrive here and you think it's too much this morning, feel free to lower this right knee down. Take a full breath. Inhale. Exhale, release this right hand down, take that left arm up. And you can stay here, you can come back to this low lunge and reach back for this right leg. Or maybe from here, you spiral that left knee out, rolling onto the foot, possibly dropping that right hip down, looking back. Full breath. Wherever you are, inhale, coming back up, planting that left hand down, step that left foot back, and moving through your vinyasa. You can lower the knees, just move in a way that feels good, and we'll come back into our downward dog where we'll take a couple of breaths. Nice cleansing breaths. 
anchor down through your left foot. Inhale, lift your right leg up behind you. Exhale, bend into that right knee just to open the hip out to the side. And then bringing it through the center, stepping the right foot up in between the hands and staying in this runner's lunge here or feel free to lower that left knee. On your next inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, arrive here. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, practice the arms, maybe lean back. Inhale to reach, palms come to touch. Exhale, leaning forward, twisting towards the right. Anchor that left elbow into the right thigh and then open up to the right side. Breathing here. Breathing into the belly. Anchoring through the legs. Releasing the left hand down. Right hand comes up. And again, it can stay here. You can walk that right foot out slightly. And then maybe you're dropping the hip towards the floor. So the left hip starts to drop down. Not necessarily going to touch as you reach back towards the back of your mat. So we're on the edge, outside edge of the right foot, outside edge of the left foot. Take one more breath. Inhale, coming back, planting the right hand, step the right foot back, coming into our down dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, vinyasa. Move through your flow. And meeting back in our downward dog. From here, just pause, take a breath. Thank you, down through that right foot. Inhale, lift the left. Stepping the left foot up in between the hands. Inhale, coming up into our high lunge. Exhale, pivot that back foot, coming into our warrior two. Arrive here, drop through the shoulders, drawing that navel in. Having this upward lift here. Find the breath. Inhale, reaching forwards with that left palm. Coming back into our reverse warrior. And then bringing left elbow down to left knee. Reach the right hand forward. Anchor through the feet. Try and roll that right foot out so you can almost feel that Outside edge, take another breath here. Pivot that right foot back round, inhale into our high lunge. Exhale, coming into our twist, right elbow down to left knee, open up to the side. Release the right hand down to the floor again. You can walk this left foot out slightly, mainly drawing that left arm back, spinning over, just reaching. So you don't have to come too far. Maybe you just look back and you're reaching here. Maybe you lower that right knee and you're reaching that left arm up. And then coming back, left hand down, frames the foot, step the left foot back. And again, just moving through. A vinyasa. Getting back and down dog. On your next inhale, lifting that right leg up. Three-legged dog, stepping right knee in towards the chest and then right foot up in between the hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. And again, just arrive here. Find the breath, settle. Strong in the legs. Reaching forward with that right palm. Inhale, reverse. 
And from here, exhale, right elbow down to the right knee. Reach the left arm up, coming into our side angle. From here, pivoting on that back foot. Inhale, reaching up, high lunge. Exhale, hands come to touch, twisting over towards the right. Anchor in through that left elbow. Release the left hand down. Maybe walk that right foot out. Again, you can just come here. This is enough. You can be here. You can lower that knee. And come into clasping hold that back leg. Or maybe reaching back with the right hand. Inhale, coming back through. Stepping that right foot back. Last chance here for our vinyasa. Enjoying that heat, that tapas, energy you're creating in your body this morning. So sometimes it's hard to get out of bed, especially a nice warm bed when it's still dark outside. But trust me, you will feel more awake and energized after a short practice. From here, bending the knees, looking forwards, stepping forwards, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, root to rise, reaching all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath. Inhale, reaching your arms all the way up. Exhale, bringing the hands behind you, interlace the hands. Open up through the chest. And on your next exhale, slowly folding forwards. Bend the knees as much as you need to here. Releasing the crown of the head, reaching forwards with those arms. And on your next exhale, release the hands down. Hands come down to the floor, stepping both feet back. Coming into our plank pose for five, four, three, two, and lowering the knees on the one, shifting the hips back. Maybe take those knees wide or come back to that puppy posture that we started with and lowering the head down towards the ground. So just Pause here. Take a couple of breaths. Inhale, coming up. And from here, just coming over into a seat or onto your bottom and then just sending your feet out in front of you, sitting up nice and tall, sit down the side actually. Bringing your hands down by your hips, flexing through your feet, pushing down with the thighs, lifting up through the chest, navel starts to draw in coming into our dandasana, our staff pose. So really anchor down here. So much so through the legs that the heels may lift off the floor. Inhale, taking the arms up. Exhale, from here, feel free to bend the knees if you need to, folding over, reaching towards the feet. And again, that doesn't mean that we can grab hold of the feet here, but just finding a place to 
anchor to pause. Inhale, think halfway lift here, open up through the chest, find that length. Exhale to fold. Inhale, slowly coming up, crossing your right leg over the left, planting that right foot on the ground. If this isn't available, feel free to just keep it on the same side. Inhale, open up here. Bring the right hand behind you, reaching the left hand up. Left elbow comes inside of this right knee. If this is too much, you can just wrap your arm around this leg but maybe opening up through the chest. So we've done lots of twists, lots of opening up through the waist side of the body. So perhaps you can do this anchor. Now we're further into the practice. Breathe here. Exhale, release. And we're just gonna switch. The left leg crosses over, hugging that knee in, create that length through the spine. Left hand comes behind you, reaching with the right hand. And then coming in, on the inside is this left knee. Open up towards the left. So we're anchoring through this right leg and this left foot, feel the sole of that foot on the ground. Breathing here. And slowly releasing, coming back to our comfortable seat where we started. And here we'll just close down the eyes for a moment. Find that length. How do you feel? Half an hour to move, to breathe, to just wake up the body, setting you up for the day ahead. Let's take three more cycles of breath here in silence. Slowly opening the eyes, bringing your hands to your heart. Have a brilliant day. Thank you for joining me so early, from me to you. Namaste.